All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to solve series in sigma notation. Uh, nine times out of ten, the reason that kids uh, struggle on this has nothing to do with their actual math ability, but rather their comfort with notation. So, this is an example. Uh, this is what a problem with sigma notation would look like, okay? Uh, which this looks horrifying in and of itself. Uh, generally speaking, the formula is always just going to kind of be set off to the side, but this is how we actually calculate these, and in the last video, I, I showed you how to do that. All right, so uh, first things first, we need to figure out what this thing is even saying. Well, this symbol here is the Greek letter sigma, S meaning series or sum. Uh, some of you guys are going to become very familiar with Greek letters when you get to college. Uh, I hope not too many of you. Uh, so this is the S we use in the formula, uh, just S sub N, meaning the series of some N number of terms. N is equal to 17. What does that mean? Well, that's the last term of the series. Okay, that's the thing we're looking at at the very end. So I'm adding up to, I'm taking up to the 17th term in this sequence, this list, and I'm adding them together. And there it is in my formula. Now, a sub n is not to be confused for the rule. Um, in this case, uh, I just kind of see it as a huge notational flaw um, in saying that it's the last term. This right here, k equals 1, is the initial term. That is our first term of the series. So basically what I'm doing is I'm adding from the first term all the way up to the 17th term of this thing, whatever that is. And there's a sub 1 in my formula. This is the rule of the sequence, which actually does not show up in our formula at all. But we're going to need to summon that to help us find information. And these ends, I never explained what this is. This right here is the number of terms in the series. Okay, so there's a whole lot of colors and arrows, and there's a little bit of madness on this. So um, let's kind of keep working on in this problem. All right, so I've got this thing in front of me. All right, so the first term of the series, okay, first term of the series is going to be this thing right here, all right, k is equal to 1, okay, so uh, what we're doing here is plugging 1 in everywhere I see a k, okay, so 15 times 1 minus 4 because this is the rule, okay, this is our rule, and I get 11, so 11 goes right there. All right, next, the last term of the series. So what I'm doing now is I'm going all the way up to 17. Okay, so in the same thing, k is equal to 17, which means everywhere in my formula, okay, in my general rule where I see a k, I put a 17 in its place. And I come out with 101. All right, now the number of terms. Okay, I'm going from the first term, right, which is what I got from here, from that little piece of information. I'm going up to the 17th, which is what I got from here, that little piece of information. All right, so n is going to be equal to 17. Boom. There's where my 17 goes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and perform the uh, arithmetic on this. Um, I do order of operations in this. There's a lot of folks that, you know, worry about the 17 over 2 first. That's not my style. Um, I like to do the 11 plus the 101 first, 112, I go ahead and do the division at that point in time, because really I'm just dividing it by 2, and then multiplying it by 17, I get 17 times 56, 952. So, this summation from 1 to 17 of 15k minus 4 is 952. And in other words, what I could be saying here is... The first 17 terms add up to 952. Okay, the first 17 terms, you know, of what? Well, this thing, this sequence, okay which we've discussed in other videos, what that actually means. Okay, that's the rule. All right, so let's do another example. And I want to caution you guys on this one. I want you to be careful here. 
All right, so our formula is always chilling right here. First term of the series. As always, I'm going to go ahead and look down here at the bottom, the sigma notation. I'm starting out with 3. Okay, so k is equal to 3. So what I'm starting from here, what I see here is I'm actually starting from the third term. which is a little weird. I'm not starting from the first term. That's what we're familiar with here. All right, but we're going to be starting from the third term in this case. It doesn't really change anything. So now everywhere I see a 3, I'm sorry, everywhere I see a k, I'll put a 3 in its place. I get negative 19. Boom. That's where that goes. All right, now I need to do the last term of the series. Well, as in the last problem, I'm going to get that from right here. k is equal to 11, so everywhere I see an 11, I'm sorry, geez, everywhere I see a K in the equation or in the rule, I pop an 11 in its place. All right, and I get negative 83. That's where that goes. All right, so now for the number of terms. All right, the number of terms. I'm going from the third to the 11th. So what you would think, right, if I'm starting at the third and I'm going up to the 11th, you would think there's going to be 11 minus 3, you'd think there'd be 8 terms. But, there's actually going to be n equals 9 terms. And this is a little unsettling. Why is that? Alright, so I, and everywhere I see an n, I put a 9 in its place. It seems weird, and that's because it totally is weird. But, if I listed all these out, right, and who cares what the numbers actually are? I mean, I know the first thing in the list I would see here because uh, I found that earlier, would be negative 19. So I'd start at negative 19, and this thing here would end up being negative 83, okay? Uh, but the rest of the stuff in the middle here, I kind of don't really need to know. Um, but if I actually count up the number of terms that I'm adding together, um, there's going to be nine of them, which is odd, uh, because you'd think, you know, I'm just going from, you know, in between 3 and 11, but I'm actually keeping the third term, so I'm starting really at 2, and I'm going 3rd plus 4th plus 5th. So um, essentially what you can think about here is if I absolutely have to find you know, the number of terms, if it doesn't start at 1, right, you would say this is uh, n minus k plus 1. But uh, if it starts at 1, you know, obviously you just go up to the number that it reaches. All right, so now I plug all this in, and I just go ahead and do what I've done before. I come up with negative 459, which means if I were to sum up uh, from the third to the 11th term of that sequence, I would get negative 459. Uh, really, most of these problems is just demystifying the notation. Most kids get freaked out just by the way it looks. They think it's rather unappealing, uh, but this is really straightforward stuff if you just follow the procedure. Good luck.